so I just got done at the RE um, uh, with my ultrasound to see if my follicles had grown from a 12 millimeter um, to at least 18 millimeters. Um, and I will tell you how that went. So um, I literally just went in there. They realized they didn't even write me down in the book to have an appointment. So they just squeezed me in real quick. Fortunately, ultrasounds only take like 30 seconds. So he measured me. My lining um, last time was six millimeters. This time it was seven and a half. He said he wants to see it at least seven and a half, but he would like it at nine. Um, Cause that's just way better, he said. Um, so uh, for my follicles, my left ovary had a, um, it had gone to 16 millimeters. Um, and my right ovary was uh, 18 by 14 millimeters. So he says that he wants to see me again on Monday, but to baby dance all this weekend. And that he, if I haven't ovulated this weekend, he's going to trigger me on Monday and then give me a multitude of shots to take over the next like two weeks or something like that. I think he said he keeps giving you HCG shots or something like that. I didn't really ask today. I, this is what he told me my first appointment. I think he said he keeps giving you HCG shots so that your body can sustain the pregnancy or, or he gives you something, LH, I don't know what it is, so that your body has more time to do implantation or something like that. Um, it takes better. I don't know. But that's what he said. So um, the Clomid worked this first cycle like awesomely I mean 18 by 14 millimeters when I saw that sucker on the screen I was like holy shit <laughs> I was so excited because before I just had like I will draw you a little picture if I have a pen hang on sorry <laughs> okay so I will draw you kind of what it looked like last time So this is kind of what my ovary looked like last time. There's a bunch of little tiny dots in it. Michelle will appreciate this. TTCA mini mesh. <laughs> um, this is kind of what my ovary looked like last time. And um, this is what it looked like this time. Had a big ass follicle in it. It was like a big black dot on the screen because like those little ones like these guys here, they were like just teeny little black dots. He was like, you see those little black dots? And I could barely decipher them on the screen. And then this time he was like, see that big one? And I was like, holy shit, <laughs> that's my follicle. I am freaking stoked. And um, yeah, so I'll probably be ovulating this weekend or Monday at the latest. Um, because he's going to see me back on Monday for sure. And if I haven't ovulated by then, sorry, ugh, um, then he's going to trigger me then. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. I know that um, this doesn't mean that I'm for sure going to get pregnant this cycle, but it is at least a start. It is such good news to hear that something is going on in my body. And I have felt it going on. I have had super twinges and they're not twinges necessarily that's what people call them uh, I say they feel more like cramps but next to my hip bones um, and they're mild kind of a dull ache and so that's my follicle news um, I have to get blood work done for these guys for like they say that it's like required by the state or something so we'll see how that comes back but I am so excited. So, on other news, um, for those of you who want to know, I have been doing really well on 801010. Um, I'll kind of give you a backstory on that real quick. I was um, doing really poorly. Um, the last time I talked to you about 801010 was when I took Turkey to the vet. Um, 
and uh, I was doing it. I was on like day nine or eight or ten. Um, I'm not even counting days now. It's probably been a week. Um, but last time, and then I stopped. I stopped. I ate pizza. I remember the day, and I just ate whatever I wanted for like a couple of weeks. And I can't even tell you the number of health problems that I contracted in that couple week period is insane let me just tell you okay so first off I realized that I am like the most lactose intolerant person in the whole world I must be because when I eat anything that has any dairy in it I just get so sick sharp shooting pains I, I don't necessarily get like diarrhea or anything but I just get sick I just get I feel gross I feel awful I mean it's really bad and um sorry for the camera um and so I noticed that I was getting some abdominal oh no no, no sorry go back 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 uh, it was like the first or second or third day that I ate crappy and when I mean crappy I mean when I go off of a raw food diet something happens in me and I just eat like shit I eat whatever the hell I want and I eat as much of it as I want and I can pack it away when it comes to regular food um so I got kidney stones and let me just tell you I don't get kidney stones unless I eat extremely unhealthy um which is really weird it's like I can eat raw 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 I'm eating healthy healthy and then I eat pizza for dinner that night I'll have a kidney stone it is so weird. I can I can almost pinpoint when I'll get one. So I can't eat unhealthy at all. Or I, if, if, if none of you have ever had a kidney stone, Lord in heaven, they hurt. Oh, they're terrible. So uh, I got a kidney stone from that. And um, that was extremely painful. And that was the worst kidney stone I've ever had. Um, you think that would have convinced me to stop eating like shit. It didn't. Keep going. A week later... I'm eating that way, whatever I want, um, and I notice me and Zach are wrestling around the ground, messing around, having fun. The next day I wake up, and my right big toe is like, it feels broken, and I was like, oh my god, I broke my toe last night when we were messing around, and um, a couple days later I realized, god, I couldn't have broken my toe because I didn't do anything to break my toe, like we were really just kind of messing around, like like lightly. We weren't like going crazy or anything. And um, so I kind of Googled it. I looked into it and I was like, okay, so big toe pain. And uh, like the first thing that came up was gout. And I was like, oh shit, do I have gout? And that's like an old man's disease. Like they call it the rich man's disease because um, it's when you eat like super high fat foods or something like that. And, um, I had gout, you guys, like, I'm 23 years old, um, and I'm having kidney stones and gout, it's uric acid buildup in your body, and, um, they say that kidney stones are recurrent in people who do have gout as well, gout is common in people who have kidney stones, so I had gout, and that scared the shit out of me, because I was like, I'm 23, I'm a woman, I, I should not have gout. Okay, so gouty toe, kidney stones, um, and uh, a couple days later, I remember I ate a bowl of cereal and I had real milk, and I hadn't had real milk in forever. I'm not a milk drinker. Um, now I'm raw vegan, so we know that, but I'm not a milk drinker at all, and um, I remember eating it, and then afterwards, I had the worst sharp, sharp shooting pains in my stomach. And I just felt so bad. Oh my God, I felt horrible. And um, that day, like my right side, I started to feel like um, really right right side abdominal pain that would hurt really bad when I would cough or, um, or uh, yawn or sneeze. And it was just getting worse and worse and worse. And it was hurting. It was waking me up, waking me up from my sleep. It hurt so bad. And I looked it up and it sounded like appendicitis. And it sounded like, I, I mean, I really, really do, do think that I had appendicitis. Um, and let me tell you, the day I had it, I was sitting in the bathroom. I wasn't going to the bathroom or anything. It's just cold in my bathroom and so it makes me feel better sometimes. 
And I went in there and I just started crying and I was like, please God, don't let me die. Cause I felt like if I have appendicitis, I have to get surgery and it's $30,000. And if it bursts, I mean, I could die from that. And I have gout, I have kidney stones, I have PCOS, I have appendicitis. I, I mean, I'm diagnosing myself on all of these things, but I know that that's what they are because I looked seriously into them and it couldn't be anything else because nothing was in that position that my pain was and it lasted like five days. Um, the only thing that stopped me was these things. And let me tell you, getting sick and having these health problems will scare the shit out of you into wanting to eat healthier. And people are like, oh, it has nothing to do with how you eat. That's what doctors keep telling me. Heck, yes it does. Yes it does, and I'll tell you why. Because for the last week, I have been eating 80-10-10 raw vegan, and I feel fine. No gout in my feet anymore. No appendicitis pain. No kidney stones. Nothing. I'm telling you, when I eat standard American diet, I get all of these problems, and I get them bad, and I get them like overlapping each other. I mean, I feel like crap every day. Like, Zach will come home and I'll just have a migraine. Or I'll just be, like, feeling just sick. And I have all these health problems. And, I mean, like, he came and sat down with me one day and he was like, Babe, I don't want you to die. And I'm like, I don't want to die either. I mean, seriously, I'm too young for this crap. So, I am not going back to eating standard American diet. And I'm doing it more or less because I am afraid of getting sick again. I don't want to feel horrible. Kidney stones are like the worst pain I've ever dealt with. Gout sucks. Appendicitis pain sucks. And I'm pretty sure it was appendicitis pain or it could be like diverticulitis or like a hernia. That's really the only things it could be, but it's not a hernia because it there's no bulging or anything like that and now it doesn't hurt. So it's not a hernia. But um yeah, so sorry this isn't about um, trying to conceive for all of you people who are watching trying to conceive videos and caring about that. This is more about my health problems. But since 801010, I swear to you, I feel fine. I mean, I feel, some days I feel a little indigestion-y, but it's more or less because I ate like such shit that now that I'm eating healthy... My body's not used to eating so healthy. I mean, I'm eating really healthy now. Although, I'm not really craving greens, which I know I need more of. I've just been eating the hell out of fruit. Like, if you can see my car right now. Sorry, it is so messy. This is my lunch. Watermelon. Strawberries. And a Jamba Juice, which, for any of you 80 10 tenors out there, and people that want a really yummy uh, drink or like like a meal so that you can get fast food too. Um, Jamba Juice has a strawberry whirl and it's strawberries, bananas, and they have an apple strawberry juice that they use. I just take the apple strawberry juice out and have them fresh squeeze orange juice right there and substitute that. So it's fresh squeeze oranges, bananas, and strawberries. Yum. It's really good. And I get the original size. Um, you can get the power sized or whatever that you want. Um, it's good. Um, so yeah. Um, that's basically what I've been doing this week. I will update you guys soon on the follicle stuff for Monday. Or, yeah. So I got my pre-seed in the mail um, yesterday and TMI but we used it <laughs> so yeah today I'm gonna go buy instead cups from Walmart I said I was gonna do that a week ago I did not because I have not wanted to go to Walmart so thanks to you guys for watching thanks for subscribing I say this every time but I love you all and um yeah I look forward to seeing some of your guys' videos I look every day for subscriptions on my subscribers or my subscriptions who I'm subscribed to and I don't see enough videos from you guys so I would like to see more um okay well I'm running out of time love you all and I will see you soon on Monday okay bye